transition. Oh, ah. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. As you know, my name is Tere, and today I'm gonna be reacting to a highly, highly, highly recommended video. <laughs> Rina Sawayama's first album, Rina. So many people have asked me for this, and I was like, mm, I'm gonna get it in at the end of Pride. I didn't get uploaded at the end of the Pride month, but, it is now. I'm not gonna give you guys a whole spiel. You guys know what to do. Like, subscribe, comment. Uh, let's get into this, all right? What in the pops? Oh, this is delicious. This is, I could eat this. In the background, I live. I live for. I wonder if they ever played this in malls somewhere. I feel like they would have. Like you're just going into like Victoria's Secret and they're just playing this in the background and they're like, come, get some spray. And I'm just like, what in there? I, I can see it, Victoria's Secret. Why haven't you done it? Can I just say how good that song just feels? The lyrical content, I cannot imagine Rena being an ordinary like person to me. Maybe she was back in the day when like Nobody knew who she was, but like, you look at her now, and like she blew, oh man. And to know like that has always been there. That's why I think when I listen to new music or discover new artists, I don't take it so seriously. This might be when I actually listen to them. They might be at the beginning of their career and they don't even know who they are yet. I judge on what I hear, but like the potential if I would have listened to this, I would have been like, the potential. I was very confused on that beginning. I was like, where are we going? She said, you're bullshitting for me. I need that stitched on a pillow. Merch? Lyrics though, she's like admitting to herself like every single day I come in and I fight for what I want and I, I show up and I, oh, same girl, same. It kind of is, I feel like uh, Love Me For Me might be like a part two of this and I wonder if she, you know, does appreciate herself more when writing that song now. I, because there was definitely some time lapse between these two albums. So, hmm, something to think about. You know what this song's reminding me of? The boy is mine. It has that feel. Ooh. The world will take me as I am. Yes. I wasn't expecting it to kick in that hard. <laughs> Ooh, just that run. Talking to myself. Mmm. So that's the chorus, 10, 20, 40, happy, sad, like all the emotions. I don't know if I like it. I needed a little bit more. 
more time with the song. Definitely. I actually went back and re-listened to it. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm still hanging in there. Still hanging in there. I think it was just because the chorus was so different. I was expecting, like, the last two songs to actually have, like, a, a full-blown chorus. That was a very short chorus, and I was like, mm -hmm. Ooh, about to make me fall asleep. Mm. Whoa. This is so whoa. Just the, the the feeling you get. It's not like a a concise like song that you would normally hear. It has like a Oh my god. This is certainly something we've missed up, but it's too late to share. Multiplication happiness. I want to die in the song. Emotions are too much, but I know what you did. This feature is good too. Oh my. It's so precious. Their voices are so precious. It's a perfect mashup. Uh -huh. <laughs> if you don't sing. Like, oh my god. It gave me such feels. And the product, like, I am so amazed how artists can still create something new today. Because you think, like, everything has been done in a song structure or things like that. But it did not sound the same, something like I've listened to before. It was beautiful. Oh my. Let me just say, if my timeouts sounded like this, I would have gladly took them in when I was a kid. Holy crap. I'm just in the corner going like. a good interlude ooh god she's just making me she making me feel a whole lot of things she's just in genres and i am okay with it ah girl <laughs> guitar is so beautiful i feel like this is definitely a time where rena was definitely experimenting a little bit more um just because i don't think like the guitar was really like audible in any of the other tracks so it's very interesting to get to a track like this and be like mm, maybe this is when she got inspired to like actually like dabble into other genres <sighs> Just take me back to XS. Just X, X, X. I just need my book bag and my backpack and just be like, eh, get it. Ah, pain. Just the pain and the pleasure. Oh my God, sing, girl, sing. Ah, oh, yes. I want more of that. Give me more of that. I was not expecting that. And I love when th things happen with the production that I'm like, how'd that go again? Like, huh? Huh? I definitely feel like this was an experimental song and I loved it. Ah, I loved it. 
Yeah. It's interesting how I'm hearing like Miley Cyrus and, the, and her dead pets vibe in this. I don't know why. It's just coming back to me. I. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> I just love the way this sounds. It sounds like even a building and just actual like human confusion because like she's like who I am, who you are, how we're all connected but still like trying to figure out what the heck we're doing. It also reminds me of Young God by Halsey. Uh, it just has that vibe of like sitting at the bottom of a swimming pool or sitting alone and contemplating things and how they turned out and what they are and Oh, I just love songs like this. Okay. Don't you dare start with a. Mm, are you starting with piano? Are you starting with piano? me definitely tell also about like how technology plays such a role in this as well because you know nowadays that's the only way you like connect with people is through you know technology social medias things like that and literally this girl she is describing it might be her it might be somebody else is like trying so desperately to fit in and she's like I don't even want to go out I want to stay home and but it's the culture it's the society that you go and you mingle and you try to fit Girl! Oh. I gotta go back excuse me excuse me hear this let's just like Connect one minute with with each other, okay? Like, be here. I love that track. That solidified it to me. This is a gold-hearted album. Period. I definitely feel like she told us what it was like to be there in that moment with her. What she was thinking, what she was deciding in life, what her, what technology was kind of doing. And even if that wasn't her last track, I definitely feel like everybody can identify it with because you're supposed to be social. You're supposed to be out there. You're supposed to be you know, trying to excel in your life. And I definitely feel like with this album, she's like, this is where I was at that time. Now looking at her album, Sawayama, I understand that, hey, some of that stuff, now she's even bigger and most of those problems, most of those issues got bigger. And I understand where she's coming from now. I. I I wish I would have listened to this before I listened to Sawayama. But I, I think it's very interesting how she labeled this Rina and then she labeled that Sawayama. I, I, mmm, mmm. I love every single track. I am not gonna pick favorites. I'm not gonna be like, oh, if I could choose which one you would listen to. Mm -mm. You digest this all as a whole, period. Um, let me know down in the comment section what tracks did you like, what tracks did you not like. Uh, let me know, is this as impactful to you now listening to Sawayama? Did you listen to Sawayama first and then now go back to and listen to Rena? Let me know down in the comment section. And like always, like this video, subscribe down below. I create new videos every week. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.